Hello friends, so today we are going to learn in a very quick way about the most basic things of Canva. How do we use Canva? What are the quick edit options that Canva provides and how irrespective of what we want to do in Canva, what we want to design in Canva, be it a logo, a business card, a social media post or posters or presentations, whatever we do, we will be needing to know all of these basic editing aspects that is provided by Canva. So let's get started with this. If you have uh, not already signed up, sign up using the link that I have given you in the documents, one of the documents. Or if you have signed up already, you can simply log in by using Google, Facebook, Apple or with an email ID that you have. I'll be using the Google sign up option. Okay, so I have signed into Canva and as you can see, we are here on the home page of Canva that gives us different options. The options that we have here is to search for whatever we want to do. On the left side, if you see, we have all the designs, something that has been shared with you by your client or somebody. You can build a team over here. You can have your own brand kit and uh, so let's get into the dashboard to see what exactly do we have as the different editing options that Canva gives us. This is going to be very quick and very easy. Just be with me. So we click on all your designs. No, let's 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 click on create a design. Let's select as an option Facebook post. It brings us to a page where we have different options. Now let's explore all of these options one by one. Okay, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. okay, so let's explore the options that we have over here. So as we open this post on the top, you would see you have then you have an option to go back to the home. This is an option to we can just rename it over here. So let's say we name the post as a, a new year post. So new year 2022 post we can we have an option to show the rulers the guides the margins the print bleed print bleed if you know this is something that we use when we send our visiting cards or something for print we need the print bleed then there is an option to save to folder resolved comments comments is when you are working as a team over here there is a version history that is offered by the pro version you have an option to make a copy then you also will find an option to download it and open in desktop app if you are using a desktop app. So these are the different options. Let's see it for ourselves one by one. What does this do? Show rulers. If you will see over here, we now get, have got the rulers in place. Similarly, if we say so guides, it does provides us with the guides which we do not need. Let's switch off the rulers as well now. So this was this resize is a pro option once again which you would only get if you are using a can canva pro you cannot change the width the height so the height i can change it to so this basically no okay so i can resize it over here i can rename it quickly over here as well now uh, using the share, share button i can share it with other people you can have somebody's email id and share it with them Then you have an option to see as insights as to the people who have seen it if you have published it on some social media that is of not much use over here we use this to download it now you'll see that we have different options let's first add something over here okay now that we have added an image i'll talk about that but let's explore the options now we have an option to download this as a png file a jpeg a pdf standard a high quality pdf print and svg and as an as a video as a gif so simply good amazing options that we have over here we can see if you see we can change the size over here as well this is again a canva pro option to download it with a transparent background so if you have made, let's say created a logo or something and you want the background to be transparent you can just click on it and download it compress file of a lower quality so if you just want to show it to somebody this option is good save the download settings so that's good okay so this is how the download works the next option is pretty interesting so you can directly push whatever post you create over here to Facebook and there are more, many more options let's see what they are so you have an option to publish it to Facebook you have an option to download it you have an option to share the link 
you have an option to schedule it on other social media profiles on Facebook group on Twitter you can share it on slack tumblr Pinterest and so many different options is what you get over here next let's now come down to the left left side where we get to see templates elements uploads let's quickly go through each of them one by one on templates if we click we can see a lot of social media templates that we have now since we are creating a new year post let's search for new year post templates new year 2022 okay so here we have a lot of new year posts let's delete the one that we just downloaded and add this one okay now this is a template that we have imported and if you see this now uh, at the bottom we have an option to zoom in zoom out so we can increase the size we can take this off and now we can increase the size what happens is now you have can go to every single element that's here and make some changes to it if you want to what kind of changes can we do here happy new year and then maybe if you see you can copy this how do you copy it so you can simply um, do a right click copy and paste or you can just do a so regards Savan Kumar okay I just copy pasted it now if you see I want to bring it over here but the line spacing is too much so what do I do here is if you see this as an option the spacing I can reduce the line spacing over here so I reduce the line spacing I can increase or reduce the letter spacing over here so let's say I increased the letter spacing a bit and now I bring it over here it still it does not fit in over here so I'll once again uh, reduce the letter spacing a bit and uh, yeah so that's regards Savan Kumar then what other options do we have here is we can change the font you have a lot of options to choose different types of fonts you can increase or decrease the size of the font you can change the color of the font text you can uh, select to align it add bullet points increase or decrease the letter spacing and then what you have an option is you can add effects to whatever you do so let's say this is an this is an a text so we can add different kind of effects shadow lift and and if you want to make it a, a circular one so we have that you can just check this out um so with the circular one what we have here is if you see here we can decrease the curve let's say okay and we can increase the letter spacing you see how nicely the options are over here you can make it like this add some shadow have it like this so you have a plenty number of options to make it look different this is what you can do with the text you can also edit the images let's say this is an image over here you can edit the image add some shadow to it remove the background increase the brightness contrast saturation whatever you want to do you can do it over here you can add different filters over here you can add uh, shadows so you can have you have a lot of options that you can explore one by one you can crop the image you can flip it so let's try the flipping it so you can flip it and bring the glass on the other side and so uh, something like this you can animate it if you want and then you can download it as a GIF or as a, a mp4 so you can animate it with different kinds of effects so that is something that you can do position is the alignment part of it you can make or increase or reduce increase or decrease the transparency of the image so this is an hyperlink this is you can lock the particular section and so on so that's what we can do with this image and the edit options that are there on the top what we can do over here next is let's now that we have seen let's do something else uh, let's so if you see on the bottom there's an option to add a page so we add a new page over here we reduce the size a bit and uh, let's use a, a blank image and let's uh, create something so we go to the option of elements photos okay let's okay so uh, in photos what do we want new year 
okay so these are the Im multiple images that we see we can pick up any one there are a few of them are free few of, few of them are the paid ones mm, let's use this one no not this one let's uh, take out maybe this one yeah okay so we increase the size so that it covers the canvas okay now now that one element photos is done now what we do here is we add another element that is the shape okay because let's say if you want to write something like a, a, a message for a happy new year so we add an element of called uh, rectangle now what we can do here is we can make it a little transparent by using the transparency option we can make it a little transparent cool we can change the color of it we can make it black or we can make it white next is if you see if you uh, try to drag this you will get an option to align it in the center wherever uh, you want to have it aligned or keep it aligned you have a lot of options to add uh, different graphics over here let's try to add some further photos over here okay now what we can do is okay so this will give us a bit of 3d effect to whatever we are trying to do let's try to do increase the size a bit no, let's try to reduce and reduce. Okay. Yeah. Something like this. Then what we have an option is to if we go to text, you will see you have different kind of text formats to choose from again we let's find out something for happy new year okay so this is one okay reduce the font size okay we reduce the font size and what we can try doing is let's rotate it over here okay since the space is limited It's not very much visible let's change the font and uh, make it something that would make it visible yeah this one is visible uh, let's increase this letter spacing a bit and we can change the text font to whatever color we want to have it in so this is the some this is how we can arrange the text we can now align the text to be in the center if you see you have an option to okay now one another option let's try to uh, find out you can send this image to the back or bring it to the front how so if you cl right click on the image you will find an option to send it back send backwards send it back animate replace the background and so on so let's send it back okay, so it has gone back now if we once again click on send it bring it to the front it comes to the front what other elements do we have if you see we have lines and shapes we have graphics we have photos we have videos if you want to add something you can add audios if you want to add you can add charts you can add tables you can add frames and grids what are these frames and grids let's see what is this uh, i'll add a frame over here okay and uh, i'll make it a small one i'll add it over here and now what i want to do here is let's let me pull up something from my uploads okay okay so this is there now if i drag it over here you'll see it automatically takes my shape. interesting yes okay so i if i am wanting to share somebody a happy new year that's me here my image comes here on the top it takes the shape of the element that we used we can use different elements over here you'll see we have different options let's use this one i'm sorry i'll try harder i'll delete this one i'll delete this element too i can i'll make it smaller go back to uploads and bring it over here so that's one of the elements that we will be using in different image different designing purposes then we have grids you can use draw, download icons you'll get a lot of icons over here you want calling icon you want a social media icon you want 
you have a lot of options you want something for this battery kind of an option which shows as uh, you want to put it on the right so you have a lot of icon options that you can use uploads is where you upload your media images videos audios that you can use in any of your editing that you are doing text is like we just used we also have an option to manually add texts audios we can add different audios videos again the same background is something let's say if we do not want to use this image but we want to use something in the, in the background we can have a lot of options gradient food textures flowers nature and a lot of them qr code we are going to learn about each of them what i want you to do here is right now explore the different editing options so that it becomes easier when you edit your facebook posts or your logo or whatever you do over here so you have explored almost all the options you will be learning a lot of a lot more about them when we get into individual chapters individual topics but yes this is pretty much about canva how you use it from a bird's eye view i would say let's jump on to the next ones until then have a great and a wonderful day bye bye